It is the champions of the Southeastern Conference, Louisiana State University, and the champions of the Big Ten, Illinois, here in the Big Easy for the 2002 Nokia Sugar Bowl. At one point, they were 4-3 and three this season, but won their last five to get here. Yeah, late season, this team had three conference losses. Nobody was thinking BCS. In fact, not many people were thinking bowl, period. But two players carried this team down the stretch. Quarterback Rohan Davey and wide receiver Josh Reed. Josh Reed had the best single season in major conference history at the wide receiver position. 94 catches, over 1,700 yards. He's a great route runner, excellent hands, might be the best at the college level after the catch. Rohan Davey is a big quarterback, 245 pounds. He can look down the field by time, likes to keep his eyes trained down the field and make big plays to his wideouts on the outside. They're a big reason in the second year. Nick Saban's gotten his team to the Sugar Bowl, so it's been Clayton thus far. Nothing from Reed yet. Davies looking long for Reed. There he is. Josh Reed out of bounds at the 15. An 18-yard pickup of another first down. Huge key for the game. Can LSU buy a couple extra seconds? His throw to Josh Reed. For the 17, he picks up a first down. Without the cornerbacks playing the way they have played, Cassidy would not be able to unleash this blitz pack. Reed to the 31. First down. The freshman who used to be a catcher in the Cubs system and closed out the upset win over Tennessee. Here's Reed. First down, Josh Reed. Seventh in the Big Ten and 82nd nationally. So they're not complete shutdown guys. Davey had time. Goes down the middle and it's caught by Reed at the 22. Rohan Davey's arm strength made Eugene Wilson, number 28, look like he was standing in his tracks here. Watch how quickly the ball gets on number 25. Illinois could use a three and out in the worst way. Not going to get it. Josh Reed, first down. There are not many quarterbacks at the college level that can throw the ball on the move this effortlessly. Davey rolling to the right. We take a look at the receiver action downfield. An out route. The two best, Clayton and Reed, are at the bottom of the screen. Nobody open at first. Now breaking free. Touchdown. Josh Reed. You think these two can work well together? Josh Reed is a third choice. Davey looking to his right, checking two receivers, and Reed stays alive along the end line. Predominantly African-American schools down here in the South. He's been in this uh, Superdome as a ball boy before. Tonight he's here as a player. Josh Reed goes over 100 receiving yards and picks up a first down at the 47-yard line. Again to the air. Reed again at the 32. Illinois' cornerbacks are very good, highly touted. But LSU with its three receiver set field, they can throw on them, and they are. If the ball's on target, you can't stop it. See those numbers? They look great. Those are still below his average for the season. That's how good he's been this year. Third throw of this draw. Davey wants more. Wants Reed. Touchdown! Josh Reed beat one of the best cover corners, not only in the Big Ten, but the country on this post round. And once again, the ball's right on time and right on target. Is not getting to Davey, and unless they start getting to Davey, not much help for the cornerbacks in the secondary. Which came, Reed in man coverage gets open. And after the catch continues. The quick ball outside, and a quick out to Josh Reed. And then Rohan Davey sits in the shotgun. Was a walk-on on the Illinois Final Four basketball team in 89. Second down, they throw. It's Reed. Those are the Illinois fans you hear. 15,000 strong, but strong in voice here. Davey, good coverage downfield. Now a man's 
flips, and Reed gets it for the first down. Christian Morton lost his footing, and Reed's 13th catch takes him over 200 yards. Josh Reed is approaching his Alabama game numbers. A little shovel pass with Reed. He's at the 10 and the 5 and takes it to the 3. Back-to-back -back demoralizing plays for Ron Turner and his Illinois team. The shovel pass, the lower body strength. Look at that cut. Sideline coordinator Dale Ball, Jennifer Gansky, and Chelsea Trowbridge, our stage managers in New Orleans tonight. And that feels really good for Nick Saban. LSU will not have to run another play. They've won their fifth straight bowl, their fourth Sugar Bowl ever, and their first Sugar Bowl win since 1968. What a turnaround. Two and three in conference early in November. Nobody, nobody BCS, and they pull it off. LSU will finish 10 and 3, and the Southeastern Conference with an emphatic 3-0 against the Big Ten on New Year's Day.